Go ahead. What's up? We are hanging out live. It is your friendly neighborhood, Matt. I know it's been a while since we've done a live stream lounge. It's not because I haven't been busy. Oh my gosh, I've been super busy. But we are hanging out at this event at Macomb Community College called Late Night at the Library. It's not late night, but we are at the library. We've got some fun things going on. Actually, past guests. Well, first, first, let me say hi to. I have to say hi to Casey is hanging out with us. And oh my gosh, I am so glad that she's here because I get to draw Casey, which is so much fun. But this is going to be strange because I'm going to be drawing Casey live. This is not, I have no projector. Um, all mistakes are going to be there, so the pressure is on to make this really good. But I'm going to be drawing a portrait of Casey live, right before your very eyes. I'm going to show you some tips, tricks, and techniques for what you can do to do a charcoal portrait. Before I sit down and get too comfy, though, I want to walk over here. We're going to say hello to Sean Sarcona, who has a really cool setup over here. Casey, over here. Hey, hey. So Heidi asked me if I could do a live stream uh, during this, so uh, I thought it would be fun to uh, get the whole experience of everyone everyone that's here yeah. and, uh, and document the whole event. But you guys remember Sean Sarcona, who was a guest previously on The Lounge, and uh, tell us what is going on today, what the setup is that, uh, that you've got going on. So we thought it would be fun to do a little uh, trivia, win some prizes, so um, in our studio we've uh, made some stickers that are library book related movie related type stuff and then we have a glow forge now so we made these uh wooden bookmarks so people can come up they can answer a trivia question and then they can um win one of these awesome things that is so cool i feel like for the people at home i feel like would it be okay if we had someone like leave a comment like to, like to do the trivia for sure at home to see if someone could do it you guys should go first though because you guys are here in person how you doing? Hello, I'm gonna have a Good. You ready for a trivia question? Sure. What is the name of the cartoon-like Japanese books which are read from right to left? Manga. Manga. Picks either a sticker or a bookmark, or just a piece of wood with pictures on it. You can sit it the right way. <laughs> Are you ready for your question? Yep. All right. Who is the main character and niece of Uncle Henry and Aunt Anne? Uh, Peter Parker. Oh, you get another one. Read on. Come on, Drew, you got this. Come on, Drew, you got find a good one here. Which author's first published book was, and to think I saw it on Mulberry Street? You help your friend. Your friend can help you. Hey, you phone a friend? friend. I'm it rhymes with chocolate mousse. <laughs> it rhymes with Proctor yeah. mousse. There was a uh, hat. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Boom, I share my name all over with Jack Nicholson. Yeah, you were so helpful. Well done. You shared a birthday with that. True. So her her eyes lit up, and I was like, she's got to know this. And it was like, like I'm the tip of your tongue, but like, I'm disappointed in myself. Wow. Yeah. You share a birthday with him. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> okay, so peeps at home, what is the question that you have for peeps at home? Um, let's see, we'll do a, um, a cool one. The Imagination Library is a free children's book gifting program started by what famous country singer in 1995? All right, leave a comment, yo. Leave a comment. Peeps are watching, but no one's leaving a comment. What's the question again? The Imagination Library is a free children's book gifting program started by what famous country Garth, Garth singer? Garth Brooks. Jeff Caldwell. Oh my gosh, Jeff Caldwell. 
Re- oh, really? Oh, guess. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Ding, 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 oh, right. Sandra Irving. All right. Sandra Irving, come she on. She got it. Come on awesome. out. Awesome. I think. Come I, on out. <laughs> Sandra's in California. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, so I can send her something. Yeah. So Sandra, check out what is here. There are some stickers. Like that. What's that one from again? This is from uh, it. Okay. Not officially, but yes. <laughs> this is L O T R. This is Lord of the Rings. These are just like you know, our era. Oh, and so Sandra got Dolly Parton. Good one. And then these ones are from. This is from Lord of the Rings. This is from Twilight. This is from um, Alice in Wonderland. Hunger Games. Great Gatsby. Tale of Two Cities, Frankenstein, Dracula, do you do, Moby um, Dick. Do you do, uh, oh my God, I can't think of the word. Never mind. The joke's over. <laughs> <laughs> do you do impressions with, with each, uh, yes. not impressions, what's it called? With the accent. Accents, do you do yes. the accent with no, each no, one? No, no, accent. <laughs> so you pick one out and then Matt will email it to you. <laughs> So, um, so Sandra, yeah, uh, Sandra, let us know, and then you can PM me your address, and I will get it to you. What sounds good? Do you want a sticker or a wooden bookmark? And then they're on different things, too. So there's dark wood, medium woods, light woods. It's like QVC. <laughs> we got Sandra on line one. <laughs> Let someone there have it. Just played for fun. Just played for that fun. Is nice. so, that you. is so kind. That is awesome, Sandra. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, you should, set, you should PM me your address anyway. I'll, I'll send you a little something uh, for playing along. All right. Are you ready for a demo? Portrait. Let's do this. Come on. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. All right, so we are ready to rock. Casey is hanging out with us today. I've got the library has assisted me with two lights. So I've got some really nice direct lighting. Oh, I kind of like over here. Move this one just a little bit. Um, this looks great. So uh, just to show you some of these supplies that I have here, I have this is just a regular newsprint pad. And you can see here, this is just some of the quick stuff that I do in class. Like there's some basic gestures. It's probably James. Yep. There's line quality. And then this here. Evie came in the other day. But um, we're having a rough time with the lighting because just all the lights turn on. So we don't have as good of, uh, as good of lights as we want. So... I am going to set this up here, flip this around, like so. Get this in here. Which book starts with a line? Call me Ishmael. Well, it's fun. What is it? That's how it starts? This is called the Oh. I remember that being trivia somewhere. Somehow. Somewhere. All right. So this is my little kit here. It's just a little, um, it's got like, you know, charcoal pencils, kneaded erasers. Chunky charcoal. This right here is just called charcoal. And uh, we're going to rock out a portrait drawing. Live. No tracing. All actual drawing. We're going to do it right now. I need a little bit of uh, caffeine. Oh, no. Very good. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so first thing we want to do, we want to find a cool angle. We want to set up like our composition. We want to have something cool to draw, something dynamic. 
and the more dynamic we can get it with like cool angles and stuff, the better the drawing is going to be. All right. So that's a great piece. I love that. Yeah, your shoulders are here too. Love that. That's per I, I like that. I like that. Just like that. All right. So let's see here. So what do I do? I want to, before I even start drawing, like, um, you know, things like uh, proportion and everything that everyone always wants to start with, what I want to do is I definitely want to kind of look at my page real estate and figure out how am I going to fill the frame here. So that's kind of all I'm concerned with right now. This is the strange way that I hold my pencil. I always sharpen my pencil with a little knife and then I use this right here, which is a sandpaper block. Like so. Something like that. Then we are ready to rock and roll. So I am going to. What do you So the first thing I always do, I always start with a cranium. Draw goes underneath. And I kind of measure uh, half of the sphere, half of the sphere, and then another half underneath is kind of the bottom of the jaw, like so. Here's the center line here of the head. The eyes are actually halfway from the top of the bottom to the bottom of the chin. So that's kind of where the eye line is right there. The eyes are five eyes across, like so. Didn't give quite five, let's do five there. Something like so. Now I've got Casey having her head just slightly turned this way, just a little bit. So um, I need to keep that in mind that there might be a little bit. I'm gonna probably skew this over this way just a little bit. Um, the nose is anywhere from one eye length down to halfway from the eye line to the bottom of the chin. Um, Casey has the ultimate little button nose. So we're gonna put that maybe around there. And then we've got the mouth. If you take the eyes straight down, that is where the mouth goes. It's two eyes across. But one thing you can do, I talk a lot about idealizing the figure. You can actually bring that in just slightly. Which 1937 boat followed two displaced migrant range workers? Oh, 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 oh. What is it? Oh, I'll bring some hands. Yeah. Oh, okay. These are really. Yeah. Yeah, they're all books, but most of them are also like movies. <laughs> Where did you guys go? Right here. Right here. Right the neck here. Neck is kind of turned this way slightly. And then we've got the shoulder comes off this way. The shoulder comes down this way. Here's over here. This pool here and here. But I didn't think Jules. Did you ever read Richard Matheson's blood song? It's a horror short story. But um, long story short, you have this kid who wants to be a vampire. So, and he's kind of a weird kid. Uh, and he goes to the zoo one day and he sees 
All right, we've got some fun stuff we can do with the background. Lights against darks and darks against lights. It's going to be really cool. Okay, uh, so I'm going to put in just a couple more features, uh, although I'm going to really go in with some big positive negative shapes. And we're going to make this kind of messy at first. And then we are going to chisel out from there. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know. And James will uh, monitor that and uh, let me know what's going on in the chat. So say hi, y'all. And it was probably dinner time for a lot of you. So let us know what you're having for dinner. Maybe spark up some ideas for what we can get later. All right. Let's see here. So we're just going to get in just a general shape of the eye here. Yeah. I really like the book story much more than the movie. The movie is like very loosely based on it. It's like I The eyebrows come uh, straight up from here, go over thicker, and then they taper out. Like so. Okay, here we go over here. Same thing. I see. Great job, Matt, says Lisa A. Werner. Thank you, Lisa. Elizabeth Grinnell says it's looking good. Awesome. Thank you, Liz. Uh, Liz, how's the horror film roulette? How's your movie coming? Oh, yeah. She was on one of the teams with uh, uh, Sarah Shane. No, I did. No. Okay. If you I would say, ah, you know. Oh, yeah. Gluttony, wrath, and being How's, uh, need a lot more how's that coming along? <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> we are going to be there rooting for you. Who was the main hobbit in the Tolkien series about the Lost Ring? The main hobbit by Buddy. And so. Wait, it depends which series, which book. I'll accept Bilbo. Yeah, wouldn't it be? How do you know if it's yeah. Bilbo or Bilbo or, or Frodo? Did he specify which book? Oh, The Hobbit. It's <laughs> okay, Matt. She's just gave me a call. I'm, uh, I'm not walking in tree and bubble gum at the same time. Keep calling my word. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Looks like Casey, right? Drawing in the lips. Liz says she's just in the audience this year, but she hears that Sarah and Lily are working here. Oh, awesome. Well, Great that you're going to be there. Are you going to the 7 o'clock one or the earlier one? And what about you, James? When are you going? Are you um, going to both? I don't know why I would necessarily have to go to both, but uh, that matinee is pretty early. Uh, uh, and matinee doesn't show the award ceremony. So. Yeah, well, that's kind of, that was my thing. He's really, like, adapted that. And, like, is this, and you know, it's not an easy read. Like, it's really good. It's very detailed. Okay, this looks good here. I'm digging this. Uh, this comes down like I'm just double checking. So what I'm doing now, I'm not trying to render anything. I'm just looking for kind of some of the basic proportions, some of the features, and I am looking to uh, uh, just for basic composition. How is this going to map out? Got this here. This looks good. Mm -hmm. All right. So then the collar. This comes up here. Mm -hmm. Just like when they made Lord of the Rings, like three books, three movies, they had the hardest time doing three movies out there. And when they saw the success, then they took Hobbit, which is much shorter, 
and then in that other three would be that was my main complaint from that too. Yeah. So I'm, I feel like this shoulder is just a little bit down. So I'm going to, I'm going to fix this a little bit. Just the shoulder over here. I feel like this comes out from here a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. Uh, there we go, and then this comes. Oh, yeah, they really kind of pushed it a lot further, and they kind of relied a lot on the CGI in there. Like, it was a lot of them walking on green screen, and then CGI and everything else. Yeah. Oh, wow. Better. There we go. They push it, and then they pull that, push it again, pull that. Okay. So, what I want to do now, before I go any farther, I want to start locking in some darks. But before we do that, normally I give the model a break every 25 minutes. How long have I been on this? How long 20. Have been 20? Since the live stream started? Well, we had the contest and stuff, so how long have I been, how long have we actually been sitting down drawing? 10? We're good? Oh, sorry. We'll at least do the next step. So what I am going to do, I'm going to set down the pencil, we're going to do broad strokes, we're going to do large shapes, and then we're going to chisel our way from there. So let's find a nice piece of charcoal to do that with. Assuming I can find a piece of charcoal to do that with. Uh, here's one here. I have a bigger one. What's in here? Oh, there's a... Is that a piece or is that my imagination? Oh, yeah, there's a pretty good piece in there. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, that's squishy. That means it's an eraser. Um, here's the one in here. Oh, wait, what's this? So far, pretty cool. Pretty lady, Sandra Irving. All right. I can't believe I got the twilight right now. I, I figured that was like the first one. Yeah, but you're not missing anything. All right. So here we go. So I'm taking a look here. Anywhere where I have major dark shapes. And I'm not afraid to just lock in. So I'm using this just to chisel out shapes. We just like make that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, if you want some stuff, let me know. Hello. Um, so, James, and I guess everyone watching, you wouldn't even believe where I was earlier today. Where were you at? I was with Scott and Tracy Surgener just showed up. We didn't even know he was going to be there. You didn't tell me that. Tracy Surgener was there. We were, uh, we were uh, pawn stars. Oh, I was going to go down to that. It was, uh, it was filming in, in Detroit. Scott got us tickets randomly. Tracy signed up for it. And at the same time, of all days and all times, he was at the same time as us. And uh, so we were all together. It was fun. We were, uh, it, was, it was great. Um, I was going to take those cards down there. Oh. <laughs> How was it? It was cool. Um, uh, we had to like high five the guys and stuff, and then they didn't look at our stuff as someone else did, and they weren't really interested in what Tracy had or what Scott had, but uh, um, but they were interested in what I had, and they're I think going to be getting back with me. Uh, maybe they just said that. Would you bring them the Sky Sail? I brought the Indiana Jones World Map. 
original. I brought a Stranger Things original, and I brought a Darth Vader painting uh, from a Japanese print original. And then you do uh, the trivia, right? Yeah, we did the trivia. Yeah, sure. yeah. Right. Yeah. So, answer questions. I'm not good with trivia, but that's why I got your trivia. Beautiful. So your, eye, your eyes are green? I always thought they were kind of bluish. They look green right now. Eventually have a video at the end of all oh, Matt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. sometimes they look more green and sometimes they look more green. Like, yeah. Like, so you'll know this one. I figure the color palette helps accentuate that on certain days. Which George Orwell book captured the phrase four legs good, two legs bad? Okay. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> Animal Farm. What is the name of this character? Be careful. I just think Frankenstein, but I feel like it's Why? more technical than that. Or <laughs> <laughs> wasn't Frankenstein. Really? The doctor thing was Frankenstein. You know where to go? He was the monster of oh, Frankenstein. I over something so So I'm just looking for like the shapes here. So right now it's going to seem like too much, but. We're going to chisel back and chisel back as we go. This is a really fun. Most people don't. Isn't it? I want Diane to do one. Come on. She reads a lot of books. A lot of books. She reads a lot of books. So give her some. You want to give her a hard one. It's very, very, very. How did you get roasted to be the model? How did she get roasted? Yeah. It's, it's my fiance, and I was like, I don't have any more to model on Tuesday. Would you please come in? She's like, I guess I could take off work a little bit. And you know you're going to look great when you talk about it. You know, I love to you. It's a balance on where the mistake. It'll do it everyone. Oh, yes. Okay, this is pretty dark under here, under the, on the side of the neck. So I'm just trying to get some basic shapes cooking. And it's, everything's going to be rough at first, and then we're going to get more and more chiseled as we go. I did, yeah. Anyone saying hi from home? Anyone hanging out? <laughs> we got seven likes. So. Nice. Um, everyone's probably having dinner right now. But if you are, we want to know. What are you having for dinner? Y'all should be going to K-Pot. K-Pot? Oh, yeah, that's the thing you place you were telling me by... Uh, Thank you, Deanna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sarah and Brooklyn are watching. Awesome. Aww. What's up, Connie? Are you jealous that uh, your dad and I were hanging out at Pawn Stars earlier? Hey, hey. Pretty good. Right, there's a little area here. Good, good. Oh man, the shirt. How am I gonna do all this fun stuff? You know what? I'm gonna elegantly gonna find a way. What's going on at the MCC stand, Moa? 
it is a uh, it's late night at the library, and so we've got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Sean Sarcona was over there running library trivia. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. James, you smell good. Asianly fresh. I wish people at home could, uh, wish we had smell of vision so we can see every time I say that what I'm talking about. Oh, in this particular one, I've been told by seven people it should be illegal for me to wear it based on uh, the positive results I've received. And then they've stopped making it, so I've been hoarding it. It's uh, Nautica. But there's like seven kinds of Nautica, so I had to like test it all. Uh, Okay, I'm starting mm -hmm. to see Casey now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. So how do I want to do some of the light here? So I'm going to have, there's like, see this in the background. I see. See that? Okay, good. And here is another. Okay, and then what else do I want to do here? Yeah, where else to put that? Okay, mm -hmm. good. I like this. Okay. Like back here, there's like this little. Brooklyn wants to know if it's chalk. This is charcoal. It's kind of like chalk. Um, it's like black chalk, I guess. Really, it is charcoal. Good question. And uh, it gets all over the place. I usually give awards in class for who looks the most like Bruce Willis in a Die Hard movie when class is over because you just people start rubbing their nose and scratching and then it just gets it gets everywhere. Right, laying that black chalk down. Yeah. And then let's see, what do I want to do? My positive negative shapes in the background. I think I want to have this stand up here. Okay, this looks good here. This looks good over here. And then in the background, right about here, we've got some tree areas here. Squirrels running across out there. I told her, I said, now, if you email her and her papers are moved, you can read it when she's like, Okay. Okay. I figured she could like, she emailed her saying, yeah, come in on Saturday. Virtually. Yeah. Otherwise, she's not going to I'm not going to All right, that looks cool. And this over here. Is it at South Campus? It is at South Campus, yes. If you're here, come hang out. Come hang out, yo. All right, that looks good. All right, so now I'm just looking for some of the other basic shapes here. Uh, let's see. Uh, and already the background, like you threw it together in like 45 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 
we're getting older. Virtual. Oh, virtual. Yeah. I'll, I'll be on that too. Yeah, because that's the thing. I told people, like, if, you, if you're a virtual student, I've never seen your picture. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you showed up. I did yeah. show up. Sometimes they um, are yeah. yeah. This looks good. Here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read my paper. Drop it. Yeah, you can drop it right now. Oh crap, I missed it. Was this at South Campus? Oh, you asked me. Was this the South Campus? Oh yeah, that's what they Oh yeah. But oh did you put the comment up? Okay. So these are just some basic rough shapes, just getting in some basic contrast. So right now, everything is a little too hard. It's a little too harsh. What we're going to do next, we are going to smooth everything out. It's going to be way too smooth. But from there, we'll be able to chisel back and forth, back and forth. And hopefully, at the end of this, it's going to look really, really cool. You're welcome to take a break, like shake it out or, or you know. So this is what it looks like now. I'll show you each step of the way. This is just kind of oh, cool. all the basic shapes thrown in there. And now we are going to take what I just drew. We're going to ruin it. <laughs> Start smoothing everything out. All right. So I've got, I was smart enough to remember to bring my uh, paper towel. Some people use a chamois, which is an expensive piece of leather. Honestly, paper towel does the exact same thing. Am I cheap? Maybe, but penny saved is a penny earned. All right, so we are going to smooth out some of these areas here. So in the areas of the hair, we can kind of follow the forms a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take areas like the forehead and we're going to kind of darken some of these areas, smooth out some of these areas, and like I said, this is going to be too much. It's going to be too smooth, too dark, but that's okay. Whoops, look at that. Too dark, too much. That's okay because we are going to chisel it back and we are going to uh, just kind of make it up as we go along and we're going to make it work. We're going to find how to make it work. So there's areas where it's too much, but again, that's that's the idea. It's all all on purpose. Um, for those of you that have had my painted illustration class when you're working with washes, there's kind of a stage where I say, get rid of the white, get rid of the white. And that's kind of what we're doing right now so that we have more control when we start putting in the highlights. It's better to have more, to be able to control those than for the highlights just to be the random places that the little white areas are left over. Oh, you know why? This is all you made. This is all I made. Why? Because of this. Yeah. 
Go like this. Why did you just do it like this? Because see how this is like this? On the darker wood, it doesn't leave a lot. So I need to kind of So we're just getting some tone in there and that way it's just it's really going to be helpful when we erase out highlights later we just want to smooth this out it's, just, it's too rough and this is just it's it's part of the process i know it seems like man it looks so much better five minutes ago i know but sometimes in order to take a step forward or i'm sorry in order to take two steps forward you need to take a step backwards all right what's crazy is when i was growing up uh i would use a lot of these colored pencils and I would lay it on thick, and I could always see streaks. So it would take it. Eventually, I just took a Kleenex and uh, smoothed it out. And then when I finally did one of your classes, I looked at you doing this. Like that's an actual technique. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like eight-year-old James could have been onto something. Charles. No. No. That's actually Charles. Fire. Uh, it's just going everywhere, but that's okay. We're going to smooth it out, and then we are going to have so much more control over what we are drawing. Okay, so now there is just way too much everywhere, right? And we are going to... I'm going to chisel it back. Okay. So... Okay, so here is where it starts getting fun. Like I said, it is not here. We'll showcase just to see how they just ruined it, right? It's not ruined. It always looks like this at this stage. So what we're going to do now, we are going to have fun as we start to erase out the light. And we're going to get some contrast going back in here. So at this stage, I usually kind of start from the top and kind of work around. So I look at areas like the forehead, and there's a lot more light on there. So I am literally going to take my eraser and start erasing the light right back out. some of the light here. There's a little bit of light under the brow here. Robert Wilson from YouTube says it's awesome. Thank you, Robert. Erase out some light under the brow here. So this is cool. This gives a little bit more definition to the brow. 
little light coming in on the side here. All right, so we've got a little bit of light. I'll be able to get more defined later, but there's a little bit of light on the iris here and in the white of the eye here. I'll be able to chisel that out later, but then we've got like this really cool light on the other side of the nose here. This is what we call Rembrandt lighting, this triangle of light that's on the cheek over here. Obviously, um, uh, Rembrandt used to light his models. Yeah, and you're going. Okay. Just keep, keep quiet. And go get some more tickets and see what they have upstairs. It's pretty good up there, too. It's pretty good up there, too. And now you gotta wait for my part. Okay. Okay. Got the here. A little bit of reflected light on this nostril over here. I don't want to get too crazy with that, though. Casey used to, uh, before we were dating, Casey used to go to random trivia nights at bars she would play for money right the contests and stuff hot room does it every month prestige just for bragging rights i mean i remember there was a night where they had harry potter trivia at the locker room and all these girls got together and uh, it's like okay have fun jenna thought it'd be such a great idea they all get there and like, oh, actually, I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I just thought it'd be cool to, to come here. None of them knew anything about Harry Potter. It's <laughs> yeah. like, but if you're going to the locker room and you're not going for cottage fries, then I'm not really sure what to say to you. <laughs> what do you guys study at the college here? What mechanical engineering? Awesome! Holy cow! Oh my gosh, you guys are like rocket scientists. That's awesome. A little bit of light above the lip over here. Hello. What are you studying here at the college? I'm studying for elementary education. Elementary education? Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so fun. It is fun. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Sean Sarcona says amazing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's awesome. It's just it's it's just like a flex class here. You yeah, stop. right. Just like way over there. There's and online at the same time. <laughs> That's awesome. So we talked about this on the live stream lounge, but Sean has his classes flex, which is both online and on ground at the same time. That is amazing. I don't know how he does it. That's like, it's like teaching two classes at the same time and being super entertaining the whole time you're doing it. Well, yeah, well, hybrid is, oh yeah, hybrid is kind of that, but um, the difference with hybrid is the teacher chooses which days are on ground and which days are online. With flex, every day is whatever you want. If you want to come in or if you want to stay home, so a teacher really has to be on their toes and they come to class for anyone that's there, but they're also running the ship for people at home at exactly the same time. So that's... Uh, my hat is off to uh, the teachers that do that. That is just a lot, a lot of work. Brittany Voigt says, so pretty. Oh, thank you, Brittany. <laughs> Mess around with DNA. Yeah, the way we had to explain it to mom was overrated scientists that messes around with blood that has like, right. cancer or like STDs. Anything that can affect someone and 
mental or physical ways. Yeah. I've been All right, so I'm gonna erase a little bit more on the cheek here. For it. And um, I'm already doing pretty good in all my classes, so like I'm hoping I can get into it soon. Good luck. It's a little dark over here. Nice meeting you too. Nice meeting you too. Welcome to the late night at the Learning Center. Hi. Yeah. It's very great and groovy, I think, for the new four-year chair. Thank you. You know we're going for food when this is done. Yeah. I can't stop with free food. Even if it isn't good. I can't help myself. So it's not against the law to use your finger. Oh, he was not a fan of you using a finger? Oh, it depends on the technique and maybe it depends on the teacher. I'm all about just the final piece and making it happen. And what, more control your finger the mouth that touches the paper. Yeah, just whatever it takes to get it to look the way you want it to look. I heard deep fried candy bars. What? Are upstairs? Yeah, that's why I heard them. Oh, Brittany says, uh, when are you going to post the engagement photos? You guys are welcome to go and you can give us a report of what they've got, the food they've got upstairs. We got you covered. You got us covered? We need a full report. And let us know what's running out quick so we know what to... <laughs> All right, so erasing out here racing out here. This is just one of the many steps. We have so, so much more to go on this. More light here. More light here. Under the chin. Mm -hmm. So I can already see areas that are too dark, areas that need to lighten up under the lip here. And so what this process ends up being is kind of chiseling away. It's almost like it's a, uh, I erased too much out of that, but it's chiseling away. Um, it's like a block of marble. And we're just doing one step at a time. A little bit of reflected light. I don't want to go too crazy on it under the neck here. Thank you. I was going to get some finish. Thank you. There's a little bit of light on the side of the neck right here. Not much. Knock that back. Okay, good. There's a little bit of light around this teardrop shape. And the... <laughs> Earring here. There's some light on the ear here. Some light here. Some light here. Some light here on the neck here. Beautiful Racing subject. out here. Thank you. I think so. I know so. I wish I could draw how beautiful Casey is on the inside. It's hard to run out of paper. So, we have candy bars up 
their pizza, bread. They have candy bars? And then they have cookies. Yeah. Oh like baked goods. Nice. I actually have oh cookies gosh. for you guys. Oh, you didn't have to. Aww. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. They have like chicken wraps and all that. Awesome. Yep. But Jordan and I are have food to take a... for chicken wraps at home, so. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that kind of went out the window when I saw the bread. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Here I'm erasing out, chiseling. Chiseling out here. This isn't the only time we're going to erase. We're going back and forth, back and forth, chiseling. Um, gosh, this technique, actually, I learned, I took a workshop, uh, several workshops with a gentleman named Nathan Fawkes. He's one of my favorite artists. He's actually one of the lead uh, designers for DreamWorks movies, like How to Train Your Dragon and stuff. Randomly, in addition to being so good at color and composition, he's really good at, um, doing portraits and he's just got these really cool techniques that are just out of this world and I just love his work so much so every time I get a chance when I'm in LA if he has a workshop going on and he often does uh there have been times I've timed when I go out to LA if I know he has a workshop and I'll just go and uh, try to soak up everything I can from uh, his genius this is looking good here. I'm going to erase just some basic shapes here out of the hair. A little bit of highlight here and also here. Good. And then a little bit here. And we're just looking, we're not looking for razor sharp, like we're not drawing individual hairs. We're doing like locks of hair and just just basic shapes. Basic shapes, chiseling, chiseling out. Hair is gonna come down a little bit more like that. Anything in the background I wanna erase here. I'm gonna kind of leave that like that, but I want I've got some light here. I wanna erase this out. Have you ever attempted to go to another artist workshop and see if you can't pick up more tricks? Uh, oh, with my own work? Mm -hmm. oh, that's every time that's why I go. Okay. Yeah, to improve myself, you mean? Every time, every time. I'm always looking to improve. I think that's the cool thing about art is that you never, yeah, it's ever changing. You never know it all. There's always places, even if you are, like a master at something, there's always more to learn. And having that uh, growth mindset, I think is just the way to go. You get more out of being an artist and you just get more out of life when uh, um, you just open yourself to learning and growing. Uh, so absolutely. I don't draw, but I write. I wish I could draw. <laughs> I can draw shoes. I can't draw portraits or anything. Sandra says she hasn't picked up charcoal in years, but she's learning a lot today. So thanks. Oh, awesome, Sandra. So. Let's see this here. Yeah. Come down and then. Yeah. 
Good, and then there's some random like patches of light that are going across there. That look pretty cool. Have a great day. See you guys. And thank you for the cookies. Rock and roll. Yeah, thank you for the cookies. My son will be next week. I'm going to have to sure that you guys will be able to get out there and kind of get one. Oh, yeah. Because they are going fast. Take the drinks. Okay. Awesome. We'll you. take a break soon. <laughs> have a good one. You too. Thank you. I think you heard deep crying from the bars, but I think they said full size. Yeah. I wanted deep crying. Yeah. Have a good one. I was going to say that would be a lot to expect if they had a deep fryer up there. All right, so this I think is pretty good for this stage. And like I said, it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We've just erased out light, so now we're gonna go back to putting in darks. What we're gonna do now may shock you because this was really dark, right? This charcoal that we used here, what we are gonna use now, I'm not even joking. This stuff is called chunky charcoal. And it looks like this. We are breaking out the big guns. We are using a giant piece of charcoal. And if you thought this stuff was dark, this is the darkest, darkest, dark. It is black. This stuff is serious bizwax. And we are going to go in and we are going to knock in our super darks on this. Are you ready? Are you ready, James? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you ready, Case? Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. So. I had to gauge where we were for a second. Let's see here. Yeah. Some... Yes, I'm just looking for the areas where it's like the darkest darks and anywhere that I want to go even darker. And yes, that includes details like the brow. What is the darkest part of the brow? Dark areas of the eyes. Darkest darks. Mm 
Deanna, did you do did you do trivia? Did you win? I didn't. I came out of it with my my daughter. <laughs> oh. Well, she probably works in this building, right? Yeah. So learning studio up there. Nice. Do they have a presentation up there that they're doing? No, she's doing drop-in for um, Thank you for that. Oh man, I'll no, thank you. It's, we had these. Like, you know, this stuff is, I need to give new stuff. This is all old school stuff already. Yeah, we'll do the 2011. Oh, really? My gosh. Over a decade ago. Okay, good. Bring this over here. Yeah. Nice, right? Something like yeah. that. Okay. Knock it in. Mm -hmm. Good. And then, oh, awesome. This is pretty cool there. Good. Okay, this here. Good. I like that. A little bit darker here. Chisel out this edge here. Um, comes across here. Good. A little bit of a vignette here. Just a little bit, and then that stuff looks good. It's knocked back from the windows. A little darker here, just a little bit. Did you have the No, I had to make it. It was like a quick turnaround. Oh, it gets a little darker here. Lots of time. Okay, so we've infused a little bit more darkness. The eyes are a little unbalanced now because I used this giant piece of charcoal. It's all good. We are going to fix as we move along. This is going to get us closer and closer to enlightenment. So, okay, so just so you can see here. Wait. Now he's just blowing kisses at it. <laughs> oh, wow. So now we are going to ruin it once again. We're going to start smoothing, smoothing this out. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Now's a good time. So stand there like this, and I would take a picture. So I'm going to smooth out a couple areas here. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have like too high expectation with it, so no. I did this in three minutes. I was like, my stomach was just like. It's amazing. You are so talented, and your model is gorgeous. I mean, nothing easier than sitting here. You just put that right.
trivia bookmark. <laughs> smooth this out, smooth this out. Good, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now I want to try to smooth a little bit out here in the eyes and the eyebrow. Matt, you make it look so easy, but it isn't. Robin says you're an amazing artist. Aw, thank you, Robin. Okay. All right, so what we are going to do now, we are going to chisel once again. Only now we are going to use, this here is a, this is a, a Mars white plastic eraser. Normally this is white, you can tell on the inside it's white. So we try wiping, getting this, no, that's pretty much straight up black. What we can do, what I do from time to time, I use an X-Acto blade like this, and I slice off a slice, it's a craft single. And you can use this piece here, or I can use this piece here, and I can erase out, I can use edges to erase, to kind of carve out some edges. So I'll show you here on the uh, forehead, and the white Mars plastic eraser will get out anything that you couldn't get with the, see how sharp that edge is? That's nice. I'm going to turn your head that way just a little bit. Yeah, Back that way just a little bit. Perfect. Good. I need to chisel out about the eyebrow a little bit more. A little bit under the eyebrow a little bit more. Good, good. A little bit on the side of the eye there, a little bit on the side of the eye there. Under the eye there, under the eye there. We've got a nice highlight on the cheek over here. Same on this side. Good. Chiseled out under here. Chiseled out over here. And we're just working it. Going around all the areas. Erasing out the light. No, because it was only like every 10 seconds. There might have been one frame of you like this, and that's it. Oh, because I kept on by stopping and going. Yeah. And then I was like, what? It's a horrible. So, what we're going to do now. And then the group's gone. Because of every 10 seconds, it took them like, like, you see one frame of them, and then they're gone. <laughs> so, I think I can get it, but still. All right. <laughs> what? All right. So what I want to do now is I want to start bringing it back to where we started with the charcoal pencil. We can start to get some details cooking and kind of infuse a little bit more kind of steer things where they need to go. So I'll start with the eyes here. Now you have to be very careful. One of the reasons it's good to draw with your arm, and you'll notice how I'm holding the pencil here, I'm not leaning on my wrist like doing arithmetic. I'm drawing with my arm like so. One of the reasons that's a good idea is I'm not gonna spread 
the charcoal around as I draw it. It's not going to get all over my hands and smear all over. But you need to practice it because you need some precision as you kind of get these details in there. I see a little bit more darkness over here. A little bit more darkness in the eye here. There we go. Good. A little bit more. There we go. There's a Casey eye right there. And kind of rolls in the shadow over here. There we go. There's that one. That helps quite a bit. I accidentally brought this down with the charcoal a little bit. Let's see if I can erase this just a little bit. I brought the eyelash down. It's a little bedroom eye, right? Doesn't it look a little? This one over here is a little. Let me see if I can erase that back just a little bit. I just got a little, went a little low with the uh, the chunky charcoal. There we go. Pull that right back, and let's see if we can fix that right here. See, that looks like Casey. That looks like Casey. This one still is a little low. I need to bring that up just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Helps. Good. Put this here. Good. It's a little darker in here. So here's kind of the cool thing. James, help me out. What is it? Is it this eye needs to come this way a little bit? What's going on here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see what I did. Yeah. Yeah. I know, see, this is my 
All right, so we're going to release back and forth, back and forth. We've got a nostril here. And we've got the nostril here. No, I think she knew. We were just, uh, since we didn't have any contact with the so what I'm looking for, I'm looking for things like, where is the shadow darker? Not just shadows, but where can I have more of a darker core to the shadow? I'm looking at things like, um, obviously, form shadow and cast shadow. I'm going to look at the fine shadow on this side uh, over here. I don't to get too crazy with that. Something like so. Mm -hmm. Need to define the shape of the lips a little bit better. There we go. That alone helped quite a bit. And then you want to make sure the line that goes across, like that separates the upper lip from the lower lip, you don't want to just make that a an even line all the way across. You really want to look for where is it darker, where is it lighter. Here the lips are darker a little bit as it rolls around the edges. Here like so. Here. Put in some shadow there. We're going to erase out more light. Just want to smooth that out a little bit. There, we're going to erase a little bit right under the end of the lip here. And we'll do just a little bit on this side over here. Same thing. Hmm. Just a little too much there. Okay, it looks like I just, I accidentally put, accidentally, that's okay. Want to erase out some of that light here. areas like the hair I don't want to um, I don't want to get too crazy with uh, I don't want to draw individual strands or anything like that but I do want to just get in some details a little bit of detail right here
Details that I want. A couple of things here. No one's got anything to say? Yeah. What are you guys having for dinner? I want to hear. What's on the menu? There's no one actually on social media right now. People are only on social media when they're at work, when they're not supposed to be on social media. When you should be on social media, everyone has a life. It doesn't bother with it. It's true when you look at when people are on the most and when they're on the least. Fusing some details here. Sandra's still working. What's that? Sandra's still working. Still working. I hear you. How's the weather on the West Coast, Sandra? I think I met Sandra through Dave Santia. I thought she tuned in for the Dave Santia episode. What's up, Jackie? Shift change over there? Yes. <laughs> If you should change over there, What's up? It's 80 right now on the West Coast. 80? What and was yeah. it today? It was pretty hot here. Yeah, it was pretty much 80. Yeah, you met through Dave. Let's see. This goes here. Yes. All right. Which Stephen King book features a grave that brings people and pets back to life? That's the Who wrote Lord of the Rings in the Hobbit? Yep. Good book, too. 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 Which Russian author wrote War and Peace? The old Tolstoy. Thanks, Jim. Which two beauty families were behind all the trouble in Roman and Julia? Oh, Sorry, this scene. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if people uh, at home can hear the trivia. I don't know. I'm sure they probably can. Oh, it's 85 over on the West Coast. 
It was like 86 here either today or yesterday, too. That's... It's been so warm. It's about to drop, though. And uh, caught the last day of the Renaissance Festival. It was... Oh. Oh. First time doing a King's Happy Hour at like six. Hilarious. I mean, it's you go you go to that Blackstone Castle, and um, it's really the only time you actually get to see the king in character. I didn't realize that because I always see the queen, and I assumed that there was a king. And then you see that it's just. It's like, oh, my wife's not here, so time to just get wild. It's it's definitely not for kids. Oh, I love the Renaissance Festival. I really want one of those outfits. That's been my dream since I was a kid, and I was begging my mom. They're like so expensive, and I'm like, Mom, I want one of those outfits. I was. I remember, I remember loading up the Pendragon costumes webpage on AOL.com and uh, back when no one knew how to make a website. Like when I'm an adult, I'm going to get one of those outfits. Here I am now, still haven't. I, I see that place every year. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, you think I will not wear this out in the middle of, you know, August? <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> what was the name of fairy, of the fairy who helped Wendy, Michael, and John fly? What is the book? Oh. Oh, that's the name. No, what's the name of the fairy? Disney movie. Kids these days. I saw a picture of um, the History Museum where a disc man is literally in a glass case. Like, oh no, a disc man, it's a CD player, and it, it's it's yeah, it's a relic from a former era. Now I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe I stumbled across this live. How exciting, Madison Santiago. Aw, thank you, Madison. Tori Wyden says it's very nice to meet you too. Awesome. You guys watching Ahsoka? It's the season finale of Ahsoka tonight. Season finale. You guys watching at home? You guys excited? What do you guys think? What's Balin? What's up with Balin? What do you guys think is going on with that dude? You know what else is tonight? It's the finale of Only Murders. Oh my gosh, family. that's right. Oh, is it really? Well, one of my no, it's not my favorite show. Mm. Unexpectedly good. It's very good. It is so good. Martin Short is so good on that. Yeah, whoever wrote that op-ed about him being not funny. Oh, yeah, whoever says Martin Short's not funny. Yeah, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. 
Come on, he was in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. He was in How I Met Your Mother, and he's hilarious every time. Who was he in How I Met Your Mother? He's uh. Is he Barney's dad? Or something? No, no, he's uh one of Marshall's um uh environmental bosses at the environmental law firm. Right. Because he's at he's at because he's at uh he's dead in one of the highlights is he's at a house party with Lillian Marshall and um, uh, I forget his name but Roland from uh, Shit's Creek. Lily's dad is there, and um, he gets him to put on a beekeeper suit, and it gets and the lights on fire, and Martin Short's just running around. It's it's fantastic. <laughs> Nathan Dumar, so excited for the Ahsoka finale tonight. Oh yeah. Nathan is, uh, he left a comment that he didn't know whether to put a Fiji patch on his, like on his gym bag or on his golf bag or on his laptop bag. And so I was like, dude, you need two Fiji patches. So you can do both. So I'm going to send him another. Yeah, I must be. I keep putting marks in the neck. They erase out just fine, but I must be. All right. So the next step, the next thing that I want to do now is I want to erase out some specific highlights. There's a number of ways you can do it. Again, this little piece of Velveeta white cheese. You could use this, and actually I'll show you. Don't believe me? Watch this, little piece of Velveeta cheese. Get these little, see these little razor highlights? And kind of just chisel out. Very nice. Another thing that you can do, uh, you can use a electric eraser which I forgot to grab, so I don't have that. But you also can use one of these, it's like a pen eraser. The well, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean my hands a little bit. And one of the ways to do it, you can use your kneaded eraser and just kind of rub it all around and it'll eat the charcoal right off of your fingers. Do I have it all over my face yet? Uh, no. Do I have it around my eyes? I've been rubbing my eyes with charcoal. Uh, I don't know. A little bit. <laughs> All right. <gasps> it would have dropped. I would have stopped it with my foot and then it would have stuck right in. Um, Case, I got to show you because I zeroed in right away. You know, the uh, those New Balance shoes that I got you, the aqua ones? Mm -hmm. uh, the guy, Jeff Deverett, that I had a consulting meeting with last week. On his website, there's a photo of like a whole filmmaker crew making a film. And the person standing right in the middle, like my eyes went right to it because it was the only aqua thing in the photo. He's wearing those, he's wearing those shoes. Those shoes are so rare and so like for anyone to just have those and to be wearing them on the set of a film, I was just like, <laughs> oh my God, Casey shoes. All right, let's see here. We've got this, I need to... Is that the exit or is that this one here? Pull that a little bit here, pull that a little bit here. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. So, okay. 
Now we are going to take this kneaded eraser right here. Get some of the soot off there. And we are going to pull out the big gun. So there is this nice juicy highlight right here. Got a nice juicy highlight right here. Well, it's maybe a little too big on both sides, so we're going to dial that back, but erase out the highlight. Almost looks anime now because they're just giant highlights. Nice little highlight right here. Right here. Right here. In fact, we can maybe get a little more tone in there and then try to erase that out a little bit better. There we go. We can chisel out. So the cool thing about a little eraser like this is it's almost like we're drawing with it. We're not erasing we're drawing and this really helps to kind of chisel out some of the highlights um there's a little bit and there's just a little bit of a crease right above here and then here Madison wants to know what kind of tool that is and where to find one. This you can probably get honestly at any, like even an Office Depot would have one of these. It's literally just a, it's a, like an eraser pen. It's just an eraser. If you push the bottom here, you see how dirt, 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 dirt. This is an eraser. They sell them yeah. next to a lot of mechanical pencils. Do they? Okay, yeah, yeah. And then you push it in like that. Have it go back in. And then you just have a little more control over where you are erasing. It's kind of neato. Robin says your attention to detail is spot on. Thank you, Robin. This is the challenge, drawing from life photos but it's really good practice. Adding in some eyelashes now. Darken some of this up here so it stays kind of tucked back behind the hair. Excellent. See you, Deanna. Deanna um, designed the stickers for Aladdin 3477, the sticker sheet, and... We should have did the pins. And the pins, the enamel pins. Yeah, she designed those. We should have talked to her. It just and occurred it, to me now that that was her. Yeah. Yeah, she's a really... She's a good illustrator, good designer. 
just like her uh, her hubby, super, super talented. Okay, we've got some shadow over here that I didn't have before, that I didn't see before. Good, good. And then, um, so there's a little bit, just a little bit of light here that I can kind of erase out. And then it's a little bit more under here. I just have a lot more control now. Some of you might be saying, why don't you just do that right away? Well, you need to, you need to steer it into place. You need to chisel out the big shapes first and make sure you are in a place uh, that you're happy with. Carve away the stone. Like my dad always says, measure twice, cut once. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's this here. Erase out some highlight in the ear. So there's this cool thing. This is like the base of the earring. Erasing out some highlights on that. It's just a couple highlights. Here, good, and then this thing here. Gonna erase out. It's like we're erasing out the beads in the earring. Little bit of highlights here. And then, uh, I'm trying to figure out if we need to. So, center campus needs to order 10 more pieces, and maybe more soda. Is that bridge is our Oh, center campus doing the same thing? Yes. Now I'm going to erase out some of the light on the hair. Oh, I should hit just a little bit on the lips here towards. here right towards the neck and then I think I saw oh yeah, just a little bit
Okay. Uh, next up is I want to get some more highlights. So we can get as detailed as you could possibly imagine. I can go in, I can erase some specifics out of the, the leaves and the trees here. like that I can do a little bit more erasing out of this I have a little bit more control the light isn't the same there were these really cool shadows that were kind of going across before so I can kind of try to erase some of that back in You can um, you can stretch your neck or then um, from here. Can call me too. Oh, take over for me. <laughs> yeah. Um. details in the shirt and then um, I want to take another look at it but I think we're going to need to take a break and see what they got for food upstairs. Um, so at this stage let's say you've only got a little bit of time left because I could spend forever really rendering out all the details in the uh, shirt but I don't really have I mean I guess I have that kind of time. Anyone know what time it is? 
say 6.30. So we can just kind of erase some details in here. So we've got just some fun, some fun details here. Now we can use the eraser here to erase out. How far do we want to go with this? I mean, we could really go crazy with some of the details. I guess. Two sure. pixel of what? Twenty bucks. <laughs> Matt, what a stunning model. Where did you find her? Asked Laura her Louvre. My gosh, you would be shocked to know. Match.com is where I found this model. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Laura Verlu found her match on match.com as well. Crazy, crazy enough. Right, so let's see this over here. Adding in some details over here. This is really cool. I don't even know, how would I draw this pattern? This is pretty wild. Um, maybe... And then this is like... Sorry, I'm a hard shirt. No, it's good. You've always got the coolest shirts, for sure. And now I've got a... Figure it out and just kind of do a quick rendering, like a quick erasing, just to get some cool details cooking in the uh, shirt. I think that the uh, you can kind of see at this stage how fun it is if you look at the shirt as a whole, how much more interesting, even though I threw those in really quick, it's just way more interesting to put in more detail. The more you do, the more time you spend, the better it's going to be. A lot of fun. Oh, I just see, I see something I need to do. There's a little bit of light coming in right on this side of the nostril. Right. 
here. Boom. Now that I've done that, I see that it's also just a hair darker underneath that side there. There we go. I need to erase this out just a little bit. Get that cooking a little bit lighter on this side. A little bit. The tickets are over there. You're dropping them on the back of everything. Chisel out that side. There we go. The name of the phone number or the name of the phone? Because you guys handed it. I'm student and employee. Okay. That's where I am, too. Good. Sometimes what I need to do is take a look at it. I don't really like to look at it, <laughs> um, but take a look at it from afar to see what uh, what areas I want to. Uh, I need to look at it again for the first time. There's a couple ways to do it. You could hold up your art in a mirror, um, and it's like you're seeing it for the first time in Photoshop. You could just flip it if you're doing artwork that's digital. And let's see here. How am I doing? You're doing fantastic. Thank I you. can't believe how realistic. Charcoal's a really cool technique because it's mess. I mean, as you can tell, it's super messy. Yes. And a lot of times students don't like working with it for that reason. Yeah, but I actually don't like using it. Okay. <laughs> it's messy. It but is messy. I love the look of it. Yeah. Charcoal. You can get some really cool really quickly you can get some really cool uh shading effects that if you were just using a pencil would take forever and it's hard sometimes with a pencil everything looks scribbled in mm -hmm. you can get some really good tone happening mm -hmm. relatively quickly Didn't you once say to spray it with something because the charcoal fades? So, oh, I, yeah, some people use this stuff called um, fixative. I'm not a big fan. Uh, what fixative is, it's essentially hairspray. Okay. It's the same stuff, but if you spray it, it'll protect it so that the charcoal stays and it doesn't fall off or rub off as easy. The only problem is it kind of darkens everything and it... Um, which is okay, but it doesn't darken everything evenly. And that's what I don't like about it okay. is it'll make the paper a lot darker, but it doesn't make the charcoal a lot darker. Mm. So it's kind of changing your contrast. And that's a variable I'm not necessarily happy with when it when that just happens, you know. So how do you store your your work with those? With charcoal, it's difficult. The biggest thing I suggest is, oh my gosh, when you're done, take a photo, because as soon as you flip the paper over, it's, some of the charcoal sticks yeah. to that paper, and then when you're in the car, just the murmur of the engine, that's going to make the charcoal start to fall off and stuff, and it's all going to be sitting at the bottom of your portfolio. Or um, So the best thing you can do is just uh, try to protect it and try to... Uh, try to take a photo right away because it may never look exactly like that right. again. I actually believe that Stuart Semple was aware of that particular issue and he actually invented a uh, 
top coat that you can water down into a spray bottle and actually use as a fixative that does not affect the paper the way that you just explained. He's the guy that got really got in it with uh, Anish Kapoor for uh, Kapoor uh, trademarking Banta Black and not making it available to anyone else. Oh, so he made right. uh, okay. Black 2.0 and he's already at Black 4.0 <laughs> that's available to everyone except Anish Kapoor. <laughs> We're just drawing in, we're erasing. We're using, literally using an eraser to draw these lighter areas. I'm just kind of getting funky with the, uh, the details. Casey, you can probably uh, take a break. I think from here, I'm just kind of like drawing in basic patterns so you can stretch or uh, I'll let you know if I need. Let's go back into it. That's pretty cool. Okay, what I want to do now, all these little shapes have like this kind of... It's a lot, but it's going to look even better. Just throwing in these little flowery dealy doos is that what they're called did you do <laughs> flowery dealy doos see parallel fit on Halloween weekend. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, 27th and 28th at the Roxy. Oh, well, that's if I can get in. What's up, Sean? Hey. Hello. Hey. How's it going? It's going. How are you? Good. I like the wall. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. Just 
sign and roll over. I just told my students to bob over here. Wow. Is that what I was telling you? Well, that's and your free food for college students. And your daughter oh, yeah. That's, she's pretty good at that. Yeah. She's pretty she, she told me I was a good writer. <laughs> she said I was she a good writer. She said that. She won't say that. I almost cried. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Coming from her, that means something. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I almost cried. She actually knows what she's doing. I'm like, I'm like, huh? Oh. <laughs> but uh, this is cool. Is that what you're talking about for the. It, it smells like liquor right over here. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to go. So the wife would draw exactly what's there? No, but I'm taking a look. And this is a technique that I call indication, where you're just kind of suggesting what's going on as opposed to just really drawing it. Well, if anyone asks, that's exactly what it looks like. Exactly what's supposed to be there. I tested it out. This is charcoal ink, so it's kind of like rough. One is a marker and one is Million times, now you've heard it a million and one. Oh, and you're charcoal drawing it too. Charcoal. Oh my god, <laughs> you and me yeah. both. I started wearing gloves when I was messing around with really? it because it was just, I can't. OCD kicks in or whatever. I feel like I can't yeah. feel it though. I can't feel what I'm drawing, and then, yeah, and then at least with this, I feel like I can feel. If I if I touch myself, but with the gloves, I can't feel what I'm touching, and I almost feel like it's I'm getting dirtier. Yeah, like I'm wearing gloves. How is this all over the place? Yep. <laughs> like it's I get worse. that. I get that. Yeah, I'm Mr. Bean when it comes to this, though. Like I, it, the whole face, everywhere but the paper. Like you didn't draw anything. Why are you covered in soot? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's like that. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, Sean. How long is this? Two sitting? hours. Does it say on there how long we've been going two for? And a half, two hours, 15 minutes. That's fast. That's fast. So fast. We're wrapping it up. I'm just going to do a couple more details, maybe over here to match it up. And then, uh, oh, yeah, because that arm, some of the detail on there is crazy. Well, hopefully I can scare some people over here. Or entice them with the. We got all this knowledge and we got a wealth of information on the private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks All pretty right. good, though. Good luck, guys. Hey, uh, did you see Kate out there? Did she have her dog on more, uh, <laughs> more snacks for us. Like, how long was this advertised? Well, I. I could have done a better job advertising it. I just, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just, I've been so, there's just a lot going on at the moment. That's um, right. You are not the one who needs to sell me. No, 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 you are welcome. You can move around, you can do your shoulders. I'm looking, I'm not even, I'm just looking at what the patterns are. Mm -hmm. So you can twist and turn, you can stand up. Um, one of my favorite things this semester is seeing the traditional classes again after all these years, especially seeing the live model drawings in the figure room, Sean Sarkana. Oh, nice. Yeah, as soon as the long-term storage uh, is delivered from the parking lot to uh, 25 feet away into the building, I'll be able to hang some of those. So, so you can't just get that yourself? 
Like they won't let you? No, there's. They've got some uh, some other stuff in there that they can't break out just yet. With a window, it's really nice to be able to see it, like happening. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm all about it. I kind of like it. I mean, obviously, there will be times that uh, the right. windows will have to be covered, but I'm all about keeping them open when they're not. So let's take a poll for those of you watching at home. Which season finale are you more excited about? Ahsoka or Only Murders in the Building? I'd say probably for me. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I can't let my fans know that. Ahsoka. <laughs> um, but I am excited also for Only Murders in the Building. Ooh. Your mom says only murders. Well, my big thing wasn't even that. You had the melody right, I had the melody wrong. I was right that there's places, and I was also, I was so adamant about, there's a part that goes, and there is, of the whole, of the whole 45 second song, there is two seconds where it actually does that. But. <laughs> I thought there was more than two seconds, but when I added something to do with library into it or books into it, but kind of relating to it. So yeah, I think that goes to that one. Well, does it go for a kind of like a new moon? No, I guess I want to see it. Okay, it's going to be colorful. Because it's, you know, stuff that you use to get to know that you swing and try like that. You know, so I'm like, I might do that. I think I'm going to break down for the camera. Erasing out the detail. So it's kind of cool. Sometimes when you do a drawing like this, just as important as the drawing is the erasing. I'm sure I'm not knocking something over here. Greg Bassett says, congrats, Matt. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. Super appreciate it. Everyone on Facebook has been so awesome because I feel like for my birthday, everyone was like, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you much. Days later, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. And then, like, it was actually the next day, but it might have been, like, two days later that we... Uh, posted on Facebook, and then everyone was like, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Well, that's the trifecta. I feel like I need to have something new now. What new thing can I say to prompt everyone to be like, oh, my God. Goosebumps. Uh, let's see. So we got this here. Uh -huh. 
I'm going to lock this here. Good. We'll do that. Do that. And then... Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Joe Palazzolo says it looks great, Matt. Thank you, Joe. I feel like this is the thing, man. Like, drawing from life is difficult, but if you can get some of that stuff down, like, that is, that is the stuff. It's being an illustrator like being a photographer. You illustrate all these people, but no illustrations of you. Oh, me? Ask Sean. There are some else. You mean like a self-portrait? No, it's something yeah, else. Right here. Like the photographers have photographs of other people that they've taken, but the very few photographs of the photographers. Oh, of themselves. Right. Like the self-portrait, you mean? No, no, no. Just like somebody else takes their photograph. They're always the ones taking photographs. Somebody else you. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, there have been a couple. I feel like I might be hard to capture because every time someone does it, like if I get a caricature done at like uh, uh, Cedar Point or something like that, I kind of feel like it doesn't look anything like me. That's the point, right? Well, well I don't know. Sometimes you usually accentuate well. a person's like distinct. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously it's supposed to be exaggerated, but it's still usually like, oh my gosh, that totally is is them, so to speak. Um, I remember when you tried drawing one of me, and like James, your your face shit shifts like whatever angle it is i can't find mm -hmm. like well, i don't know what that means but you said it was good so yeah it's also hard when people have um very symmetrical features or people are uh just have very um i don't know like someone like a brad pitt or someone like a margot robbie it's really difficult to draw because they're kind of like perfect all their features are just like wow, it, it, they just look like a generic, perfect person. And so when you draw them, it doesn't, you know, it's hard to make it look like them. It just looks like person, <laughs> you know? Uh, Which classic board game allows players to make accusations in the library? So just like, baby. And Greg also said, now you just see four kids and a new grandbaby, and there's your congratulations. Four kids and, oh my gosh, well, we'll... <laughs> Yeah, that'll happen, and <laughs> no, 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 I'm, not, I'm not prepared for that, so that's just... <laughs> All right, so I think this is kind of where we are at. I think, uh, um, you know, I could spend more time on it, but I think this is, uh, I think this is fun. I think this is kind of a, uh, I think this is a good place to be. Uh, and now we reveal to Casey Nubbin. Yes. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the details you were able to do for the shirt. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. He could have gotten it even closer if he did two more hours of this. That is amazing. I can't believe you did it in such a short amount of time. I don't worry at all because I can't. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. It was cool. Yeah. I even got the background through the windows and stuff. You forgot the squirrels, but you know that that, 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 that would have been tough. Dude, they scurried across so quick. I was going to do it, but uh, they just moved way too way too fast. But uh, we'll leave this sitting here for a second, and then uh, um, James, I think you need to take us out of here. The outro. Oh, all right. All launch. right. It's like it's like the third, oh, you keep going to where you get to the videos. Thirty is there's one that says thirty. That's the first video. You look, but, but that's just a countdown with seconds. Oh, it's, the, it's two below that. Oh, okay. I see. Did you enjoy class today? If so, give me a like. If there's something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, let me know what that is in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got a video series called Sketchbook Challenge that helps your drawing, creativity, and fill up an awesome looking sketchbook. 
Plus, there are videos on You Can Draw Star Wars, Hollywood is Dead, and sneak peeks at the Aladdin 3477 Motion Picture Trilogy. In order to not miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Sharing is caring, and it's great to inspire your friends. Share this video on social media, and your friends will share awesome art tips they find with you. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram. I'll see you back in the classroom soon. Don't be tardy. Bye, everyone.